Good morning everyone and welcome back to Meerkat Musings and we're now on today, god knows what, of the quarantine. The hair is really bad because, well frankly it needs cutting and I think at the end of this hairdressers are going to make a small fortune because everyone's going to be desperate for a haircut. I'm actually thinking about having it more or less, not all shaved off, but maybe like a number two all over because... It'll be manageable for the first time in forever. Even though I do look a bit like a thug, apparently, when I have a number two all over. But to be honest, I don't care. It's my hair. And frankly, I want to feel comfortable. I've actually thought about getting a home kit of some kind. A bit of DIY hair cutting. But that would probably go disastrously wrong. Uh, even if I was doing numbers all over, I might find a way to ruin that. So it might be best to actually wait and leave it for a while. So what's been going on? Well, the uh, the water supply issue that we've been having is resolved uh, at long last. It got worse before it got better. Uh, they, they fixed the initial problem. Uh, and then that triggered a second problem. It triggered a small flood uh, underneath our fridge and our cooker. And it was actually bleeding through into the hallway as well. A big damp patch in the carpet. So they've now resolved both problems. We now have excellent water pressure, thank God. Uh, so no more washing hair and washing ourselves with a bowl in the sink uh, and that kind of thing. We can actually now do it properly, which is a major relief, of course. Uh, other news. So I ordered the laptop uh, back in the middle of April. It was supposed to be delivered yesterday and it's not here, which is rather annoying because... Uh, I want to get cracking with a few things, and I can't uh, about this new laptop. It might be here today. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Uh, so it's a case of waiting and seeing. It's a bit frustrating, really. I do understand. Of course, I do. This whole this whole Corona business. Uh, it sends deliveries and things out of whack uh, and whatnot. But nonetheless, when you get this message come through. Which kind of also forced you to be up really, really early because the delivery window from the courier was between 8 in the morning and 6 p.m. You have to get up really early uh, because it might turn up really early uh, and then spend the whole day basically kind of having to stay indoors uh, or at least one of us to stay indoors uh, to wait. I mean, okay, we can't really go anywhere, so we're not, not really meant to be going outside too much, but you can't even go for a little walk because you're. Well, yeah. you can't, you know, you're, you're waiting for this delivery and it may or may not turn up. In this case, it hasn't turned up. It might be here today. I don't know. Uh, the the update from the website was delayed at depot, whatever that means. But it's kind of saying, you know, yesterday it was saying out for delivery at half eight in the morning. And now it's saying booked in at depot again. So I don't know what's going on there. Do I expect it today? Does this company deliver on Saturdays? I don't know. It's the job. It's up in the air. And it's also very hard to get hold of them. Uh, especially at the moment. So limbo time, I guess, for lack of a better word. So, yeah, some things have, have, have moved on and improved. As I say, the water supply is now up and running again uh, to its full strength. We had low pressure before. We now actually have very good pressure. Uh, so that opens up other options for the future. Uh, good water pressure and other things we're having to play the waiting game for like laptops like haircuts uh, the haircut is probably actually it's 50 50 as to what's more important to me right now uh, in, in some ways because i want this hair i mean i hate my hair as a rule anyway i, it, I identify my hair as one of my worst features it's just it grows too quickly it doesn't grow in the right direction and i actually prefer you know having it more or less all say so right down number two number three all over that kind of thing because it's short it's manageable you haven't got to mess around with gel and styling it it just looks after itself uh, i know it looks a bit odd on me perhaps but i've done it before and i'm really thinking when this is over doing it again because frankly i prefer it you know it, it, it's just it's easy uh, and sometimes what you want is is easy you know if i want an easy life i want easy to look after hair Beyond that, there isn't really a great deal more to talk about. Um, doing a little kind of, for lack of a better word, quarantine party. 
uh, today. We'll have to see how that pans out because at the moment the weather's a bit, well, it's a bit overcast. We've had lots and lots of, of glorious sunshine and today it seems to be a bit kind of bleaker for every reason. A bit disappointing, but not a lot we can do about the weather, of course. And you have to bear in mind, it is April. Uh, as I've said before, we staff to expect summer sunshine now, uh, even as we do creep towards May. Uh, and we think we might begin to get nicer weather. We have to remember we're still in a period of time when we can get storms, rain. The weather can change, be quite turbulent. So beggars can't be choosers, really, with that one. So, yeah, basically it's just, as usual, life on hold, we're waiting, we're wondering. It's definitely triggering more weird dreams. The dream from a couple of nights ago, I can't remember last night's dream, uh, but a couple of nights ago, because I've been looking at Formula One videos and racing videos, I think that's been in my subconscious because I'm missing my Formula One. So I had a dream about, well, one dream involved, I was moving house and for some reason, two-time world champion Fernando Alonso was helping me move house, uh, which was quite exciting, of course. And then another part of the dream, that same dream involves being in a tunnel somewhere, running away from zombies, as you do. Uh, and then something else, another dream uh, involved a car chase, which may have involved it in the center, uh, as well, normal cars in a normal street kind of situation. Again, no idea what that involved. But typical of my subconscious to to flicker from one thing to another. In fact, I do recall a little bit of last night's dream, which seemed to involve, um, I want to say, I don't know if I can quite say post-apocalyptic London, but it felt kind of like that, and, and travelling on the underground in, in dangerous times and circumstances, which I guess these are. So that was a bit weird, but I don't, it's only fragments of that dream that I remember. So... Yeah, apart from that, as I say, we just wait, we just wonder, for, we just wait for our lives to resume, uh, as it were. So, as usual, take care of each other, guys, and I shall be back at some point for more videos.